Hi, my name is Dan Lo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read uh, a file in the in your local drive using JavaScript. So, uh, if you follow my uh, video, then this is the way uh, you uh, have two files. The first file is a ID page, the HTML. This is the file for uh, the HTML page and it points to my first JavaScript JS which is here okay and I'm using the Google Chrome a Microsoft Windows 10 okay so if you run it uh, you should be get the, this is my first web page here and then this is a console output high there is here okay so to read the file uh, well we can use a notepad uh, here I already created the file uh, using notepad uh, so it contains uh, a common separated vector you know one comma two comma all the way so these are numbers okay and in this video in uh, in this program well, we're going to read this file and this file is just stored at the same folder as the page and uh, the JavaScript stored. Okay, so we don't need this one. So to begin with, we need two things. First, we need to modify the HTML page to add a input field. That's right above the script. Okay, not below. Otherwise, it may not work. So above the script uh, put the input field this is HTML tag input okay and the type set it to a uh, file and ID uh, here ID we set it to files and then we'll put the name uh, a name say uh, files uh, in array because it's gonna read uh, number of files then and that's all we need about the input field and then close this okay now uh, save it and try it again and you see here you got a file chooser for you to choose a file from so if you choose this uh, you go to this is your project folder and then you click on the data.csv that's a file I created earlier Okay, so since we don't do anything, uh, it's nothing output yet. So um, in order to well <coughs> read the file, we we first use the file chooser in the HTML to get a file object. Okay. Second, we use this uh, JavaScript program, you know, to read the content of the file and display it. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is I need to uh, do a couple of things. First, I need to register, register on change. Uh, handler or function. Okay, so that means every time if I choose this, okay, if I done choosing, and then this function will be called. Okay, so. To do that, uh, we need to get that element, the DOM element of the input, the file input or file chooser. Okay, the get element by ID. Okay, and notice that the ID we have is files. Okay, and once we got that uh, input field, the file chooser, and then we need to uh, register the unchange. Okay. Uh, register as a function. Okay. Okay. Function. Okay. So, inside the function, uh, you, uh, you will get uh, the file object. Okay. And that's you know, uh, create create a local variable say a uh, file uh, equal to this uh, 
files the first one okay so get the first one and then uh, we just uh, output to test output to see what, what it is okay and then uh, now we don't need the time to come in it out I'll remove it okay save it run it now if I choose the file data.csv okay so you can see there's a uh, output in the console that indicate that the file name is this this is the uh, blob object okay that represent the file okay uh, a data structure that represent the file data that's it we okay we have size 25 whatever okay so now we got a file in and this next step is um, we need to uh, use a fire uh, reader uh, to read the file so we created a created a file reader uh, object okay so it's a uh, reader you, so this reader the new uh, file reader okay and this is a file reader object okay so we created a file reader object okay then uh you know the you know for the file read object you know to work we need to register its unload function so every time you load it and then you will of uh, call this function so we register okay uh there's the unload uh, unload function okay so the unload function is rather the unload uh, unload function so this unload function uh, basically uh, we just simply just you know output everything to the console the content of the file okay so the content of the file is called this that result so this can uh, show the content of the file result you know to the console okay so and that's all you need and that step is just read the file so actually read it. these are the functions you know uh, or, or this this function this unchanged function is every time you you choose a file this unchanged function will be called okay and now uh in at that moment you created a file reader object okay but this angle function will not be called until you actually call it. So we just read the file here. Uh, read the file. Uh, actually, do reading the file. So to read the file, it's a reader that uh, read us text. Okay. So it's a read it as a text, and then remember we we'll file created right, and the file object created, and that is pretty much a file all you need save it and run it so now it's running so you choose a file let's say I choose the data.csv create it so this is the output uh, of the file content uh, this one okay so this is the data.csv and this output as a string by the way okay and then uh, you can uh, choose other file so I have other file here let's say uh ID page okay you you just need to output the content of ID page okay so that's all I have and have fun <laughs>